Oh, I want to be a racing driver and I'm not going to stop until I get there. The goal has always been to get to F1. I'm a really competitive person. I'd turn anything to a race if I wanted to, running down the street, uh, trying to get to the school for my sister. I've always been into competition. Lewis has just been totally mad about racing since day dot. If you recognise that your child has a talent, you have to follow that path. I've always loved speed, and obviously there's only so fast you can run or ride a bike. It's, it's almost like a superpower. Um, that just fascinated me from a kid. At four years old, clocked him at one track doing 40 miles an hour. And the other kids who were the same age, they were just spinning off the track left, right and centre, just going straight. And he was just drifting around the corners. It's incredibly expensive. You look at the front of the grid, the front of the grids are normally the ones with the most amount of money and the most amount of backing. And the age where he was driving, it literally was the richest people at the front of the grid. People have made themselves bankrupt by literally trying to follow the sport. In 2007, when Lewis Hamilton started, I asked when I started watching him, and then that's when I kind of made the decision I wanted to be just like him. Hey guys. Hi. Hello. How you doing? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, mate. Obstacles that you faced during your career, how have you really overcome them? I think the biggest uh, difficulties were the difference in race, obviously being the only person of colour on the track, apart from my dad. There's a lack of diversity through the top of uh, big, big, you know, organisations, companies, all the way down. And there's very, very little uh, black leadership, so I put this commission together to try and find out what those barriers are for young underserved communities trying to get into this sport. What do you think needs to be done to help people like us? Well, the problem with our sport is that it is expensive. But there are a lot of people out there, companies that are looking for improving uh, diversity and inclusion. So it's not just what you do on track, but it's also how you present yourself, how you handle yourself when you lose. Like, I really just want to encourage you guys, you know, there's nothing that you cannot do. It's given me a goal to, to follow in his footsteps and also build on that as well. Yeah, I'd say it's definitely up there as one of the, the best moments of my life so far.